Welcome to the Tennis Europe Junior School. Hi, I'm Emma Stewart and I'm part of the WTA Sports Science and Medicine team. It's our job to advise tennis players on how best to look after their bodies and it starts with hydration and nutrition. In this video we're going to talk about nutrition, what you eat and hydration, what you drink. As a tennis player your body is like an engine and just like an engine if you want it to perform at its best you need to put the right fuel in. Nutrition and hydration is also really important for looking after your immune system, which stops you getting sick or run down when you travel and competing a lot. When I was playing juniors, when I was maybe 14, 15 year old, I did not really care about uh, what I eat. And uh, when I became a professional, I realized how important it is. You have to care about it. It will, it will improve you, your game for sure. It will improve your, improve your body because the food is the fuel for, for your body. So let's start with nutrition. Before we look at what to eat and when to eat it, let's look at how your body works. Here's the science bit. The body breaks down most carbohydrates from the foods we eat and converts them to a type of sugar called glucose. Glucose is the main source of fuel for our cells. When the body doesn't need to use the glucose for energy, it stores it up to use it later. This stored form of glucose is called glycogen. When the body needs a quick boost of energy or when the body hasn't had food for a while, glycogen is broken down to release glucose into the bloodstream to be used as fuel for the cells. The best way of getting your body to create glycogen is by consuming carbohydrates. Carbohydrates help your body store enough glycogen to make sure that they have the steady energy needed for exercise, training, practice or matches. Having the right fuel in your body helps you feel better physically and mentally. If you don't have enough energy to play, you can feel tired and find it hard to concentrate. To perform 100%, you need to consume fuel before, during and after your match. What should I eat before a match? To make sure you don't run out of energy, try to eat a carbohydrate rich meal two to three hours before your practice or match to refuel energy stores and give your body enough time to digest the food. I actually like to prepare um, overnight oats for my pre-match meal because I actually really enjoy it and I will probably have like six tablespoons of just rolled oats uh, with some yogurt and honey, add some berries. Um, it's just easy and I know that it doesn't make me feel sick. I think the biggest advice I can give um, in terms of nutrition and stuff like this is just uh, kind of get a feel for yourself, what, what you like to do before matches, after matches, what, what works with your body because honestly everyone's different, everyone needs different kind of nutritions. And uh, for me, you know, I like to eat two hours exactly before the match, just a little bit of pasta. You must also maintain your energy during your matches, and this uh, means consuming carbohydrates. Sports drinks, gels or sports bars are designed to help you do this. You should read the labels, ideally a sports drink or gel should contain 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrate per litre. On court, I like to just um snack on a banana so I'll probably start uh, pretty early straight away and just have a bite at every changeover. What should I eat after a match? There are two stages when it comes to eating the right way after a match, a training session or a practice. Stage one occurs within 30 minutes of finishing. This is when you should eat a well-balanced snack as well as taking on fluid. Whatever you eat should have at least 30 grams of carbohydrate 15 to 25 grams of protein, but not very much fat. Let's look at some examples of good snacks you can eat. A sandwich with meat, low fat cheese or egg, a drink such as 375 mils or 12 ounces of low fat chocolate milk, or a protein recovery shake. You should take a recovery drink after every match you play because it brings you back the, the uh, stuff you are losing during your match. And, it's, it's really important and I am already getting older, so I need this stuff, but um, not just me, also other athletes have to use it. Not only recovery drinks, but the drinks during the matches, the, the food you have to eat before, you have to eat light when you go on, so it's really important. I'm always taking recover protein. Uh, I always uh, do before sleeping, also uh, doing recovery. 
my team does all, all, all things. I'm just, uh, I'm just eating and drinking. So after the match, I'm taking the recovery shake or recovery drink. Stage two happens within two hours of finishing a match or a training session. It is recommended to consume a meal with lots of protein and carbohydrate. Make sure you also keep taking on fluid as well as eating. Proper nutrition will help speed up recovery time and will stop your muscles getting sore. So eat the right things at the right time. Now that we've talked about what you eat, let's talk about what you drink. That's called hydration. Being properly hydrated is super important for anyone, but especially athletes, because your body loses fluid when you sweat. If you don't replace this fluid, you become dehydrated, which will affect your body and make you feel flat and fatigued. It affects your body's ability to regulate heat, which means you can become overheated. Being dehydrated can also make it hard to concentrate and think clearly, which is really bad news if you're trying to win a tennis match. Hey guys, did you know that uh, two-thirds of your body is made of water? So be sure that you're really hydrated all the time. Before the match, already you need to hydrate and of course after the match as well. There is an easy way to see if you're dehydrated. It might seem strange, but a good way to check if you're hydrated is to look at your urine when you go to the toilet. If your urine is very dark, this can mean you are dehydrated. This chart is a really good guide to see what color your urine should be. But hydration isn't just about having enough water, it's also about replacing the electrolytes. Basically, the minerals that you lose when you sweat. The most important one of these minerals is sodium, which is another word for salt. That's why you need a good sports drink as well as water to make sure that you're giving your body everything that it needs. Definitely prepare electrolyte um, drinks for a match and I probably have yeah, I uh, probably have like, I don't know, five liters of water, uh, including electrolytes uh, during a match, um, a long match. And yeah, I just try and hydrate throughout the day, have um, lots of water. And um, actually sometimes before I play the night before, I'll have an electrolyte meal just to make sure that um, I've got all my salts um, ready. <laughs> Remember, it's not just about what you eat and drink when you're at tournaments. You should also eat and drink like an athlete every single day. A balanced diet with lots of protein and vegetables, as well as good carbohydrates, will help you when you step on the court. Uh, when I ate uh, bad food, I didn't have enough energy for matches and practices. And then I started eating good food, healthy food, uh, which was uh, planned on time and uh, what I need to eat and uh, then I had enough energy for playing matches and practicing and I could enjoy it more. You must think what you eat and drink to play the best tennis. Good luck. Don't count on when you are young. When you are young you have to eat well, you have to uh, care about your body because your body is your business.